Praise God. And welcome to another House of Prayer online ministry. I am one of your pastors out of the state of Michigan, Pastor Harris. We bring you greetings in that wonderful name, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for Apostle Williams out of the state of Texas. Today, we're going to be talking about adjusting to life's challenges. Adjusting to life's challenges. We'll be coming from the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse number three. Let us pray. Our God, our Father, we thank you. We praise you. We ask that you would tear down the flesh, speak to and through us, God. Keep us meek and humble for the greatest place to be is at the foot of Jesus. We thank you for a mindset to hunger and thirst for righteousness. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. The blood of Jesus prevails against anything that's not of you. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Adjusting to life's challenges. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 reads as follows. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Isaiah chapter 26 verse number 3. Let's read it again. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusteth in the Lord, continually trusting in God. He'll keep your mind in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him. Because you're trusting him continually. Okay? Adjusting to life's challenges. You know, in order to stay in our right mind, we must continually trust God. That he will work it out for our good. It is not always easy to say, um, I'm going through this because I know God want me to and, and he want me to learn something and he's allowed this to happen. You know, we say that and um, some of us say it because we've heard it. Some of us say it because um, we're so used to saying it. But when we say it, do we really mean it and do we really understand what we're saying? Adjusting to life's challenges. We're going through. Every day is a new day in Christ, and every day things change in our body. We get older. We start getting aches and pains that we didn't know that we had. You know, muscles here and there that we never used, and all of a sudden we use them, and now we're in a lot of pain. And we start under, we start figuring out, like, Lord, I mean, what's going on, God? I don't understand. God is saying, are you trusting me continually? You need to work those muscles out. There's an area in your life where you just let it um, stay and you haven't moved it. You haven't done anything. And that's how God wants us to be about our faith. There's some areas in our life we haven't exercised our faith in. And we haven't allowed him to move on our behalf. And so, therefore, we get an ache and a pain. We get a, 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 a shocker, I'd say. You know, sometimes some, somebody in your family may um, have like a, a death may come into the family, let's say and you have to learn how to adjust an egg, maybe a death of a mother, a father, a brother, a sister, a husband, a wife. And you've so used to being with that person for all those years or your entire life is your parents. And they raise you used to being them. And then God called them in. You have to learn how to adjust. That's an ache. It's an aching feeling in your heart. It's an aching feeling in your body. It's your mind hurts because you just can't wrap your body and mind around the situation that's taking place. It's aching and it's, you have to learn how to adjust in life. And you haven't never moved in that area. You have, you're not used to that because that's never happened to you. So therefore, God is saying in Isaiah 26 and 3, he said, I'll keep your mind in perfect peace. If you keep your mind on me and you trust me continually, I understand that you're not, you know, how are you going to adjust without that loved one being there? You're so used to being seeing all the time. How are you going to adjust with that uh, son or daughter going off to college and you're so used to them being there. How are you going to adjust to that aunt and uncle and that granny that was always there for you? And now you've got to move and you got to exercise that faith in like, Lord, I'm uncomfortable. I don't understand, Lord. So we want to ask the normal questions as human beings. We want to ask why? What did I do? Where do I go? How do I adjust? What means shall I adjust to? I'm so used to, you know, my mom and dad taking care of me. I'm so used to my aunt and uncle and my granny being there. I'm so used to, you know, my family just being there for me, Lord. And now I've got to move. I've got to adjust to this place where I am in my life, where I've never been. I've got to exercise this faith 
that I've never used in this part of my life. I've always used faith to say, you know what, I'm going to trust God. I get up in the morning. I thank you for my job. And some of us use, I thank the Lord for my life, health, and strength. I thank you for my job. But do you really thank him? When life's challenges come and you have to adjust, how well are you adjusting? Are you keeping your mind on God or do you feel like you're losing your mind? If you're at the place where you think you're just losing your mind, you can't live without that person. Oh, my gosh, I want to jump in there with them. You know, you need to stop and repent because God gave you life. And he didn't give you life for you to do what you want to do. But he gave you life for you to acknowledge him, for you to trust him. Adjusting to life's challenges can be challenging. God never said it was going to be easy. But he gave us the good news of I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He gave us great news. If you keep your mind on me, I'll keep you in perfect peace. If you keep your mind stayed on me, I'll get you through that situation where you don't lose your mind. You want to know why? Because I'm God and I don't need no help. You want to know how you got there? Because the prayers of the righteous avail us from us. Somebody been praying for you and they want you to be here. You know, that grandmama, that granddaddy, or that mama and that daddy, aunt, uncle, cousin, godparents, whoever, they've been praying for you. And so you're saying, Lord, I'm having all these challenges. I don't know what to do. How did I get here? God said, you're here because the prayers of the righteous, and I got a plan for your life. But if you just trust me and lean on your own understanding and listen, trust me continually, I can keep your mind in peace, in perfect peace, where you'll get good rest while you're in that challenging storm, where you'll get good peace to be able to keep a smile on your faith and purity in your heart while you're going through what whatever the situation may be it may be a financial burden that you're going through you've never been in this situation where your finances have been so bad and you've made such poor decisions you're like lord how did i get here lord why am i here i've done everything i did god said just wait on me trust me trust me continually trust me i have a plan and a purpose for your life I didn't take you out of that situation. I could have um, let that, that thing to get you, but instead I didn't because I have something I have for you here. Sure, you're going through a challenging stage. Sure, you don't want to let that child go and they graduated from high school and not sign to go to college. And you're used to just being you and them. And you have some challenges of letting go. Sure, it maybe it's you and your husband been in the house with all these children. All of a sudden, all the children are gone. And you're thinking like, what, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now, Lord? We never talk. Well, it's time for y'all to talk. It's time for you to get a greater relationship with God. And that can happen if you trust him. He said in Isaiah 26 and 3, I will keep your mind in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. He'll keep it in perfect peace. But you got to trust him. You got to understand that you're in this challenging situation and you're going through, whether it's on the job, whether it's in personal life, whether it's in finances, whatever the case may be, God can keep you in perfect peace. As humans, like I said, we always want to know why. We want to know what, what is that? What is that? Oh, Lord, this can't be right. God don't make mistakes. So understand that God does not make mistakes. And when God closes a door, no man can open it. And when God opens the door, no man can close it. God wants us to trust him. Thank you, Jesus. God will keep you in the storm. God will keep you on track. On tracking your praise, on tracking your worship. If you don't focus on the problem that you're having, the challenges that you're going through. Yeah, your knee and your body may be hurting. And you've never felt like this before. God said, but you're here and I'm allowing you to feel the pain. So you're blessed because somebody ain't feeling the pain no more and they want to be here. Or you may say, you know what, Lord, my mother and my father had to go through this surgery. And now how are we going to adjust? And, you know, they are an amputee now. And, you know, we got to get them a, a wheelchair. We got to build the house around it so they'd be able to get up on God said, do it then. Do it. You wanted your parents to be here and I heard your prayers. But you can't tell me how to keep them here. You wanted your children to be in that house and I allowed them to be there. You can't tell me what to do because all souls are mine, God is saying. I can do what I want to do with my children. We are God's children. You can't tell the potter how to twist and bend and shape that clay. God is the potter 
and we are the clay. And whatever he sees in us that need to be pulled out, whatever he sees in us that need to be shaped because we've gotten comfortable, he's going to do it. Life challenges come to make us stronger. They come to make us better, but not bitter. They come to build us up and not tear us down. When the life challenges come to you, what will you do about it? Are you one who think that you want to go out and drink? You want to smoke? You want to backslide? And then you get up and you have a hangover the next day and the problem is still there. Or are you one to say, you know what, Lord? I got to stop and acknowledge you because this is too big. This is too big for me. I don't know what is happening. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know who to talk to. I don't know how to adjust, but God, I'm going to trust you so that you can show me who. You can show me where to go. You can show me how. And But more importantly, you're going to give me perfect peace so I'll be able to sleep restfully at night and not toss and turn and toil over the challenges that I'm going through because you said you wouldn't put no more on me than I can bear. Adjusting to life's challenges are just what they are, the challenges that God allowed to happen in our life. Maybe you're taking care of a loved one and, um, you know, sometimes it get hard, you know, but some of us, we take care of our loved ones or we take care of um, older people and we get a stipend or younger people or disabled people. We get that stipend, that money. And then when the money is getting good, we get comfortable, but we don't want the responsibilities. We don't want the responsibilities of taking care of the people that God has called us to take care of. We don't want to adjust. We don't want to trust God that this is the right decision. But when the finances came, when the check came, you were happy. You know, some of us get happy when we get some money. We get so happy, but when the money gone, we just can't handle it. Well, you need to learn how to adjust because God blessed you with some finances and you could have misappropriately used them. So therefore, now you have nothing. You have no money. And you're sitting in that situation trying to ponder and figure out, what did I do? Where did I go wrong? How did I do that? Well, just know that God will give you another chance. He's a God of many, many chances. But this time when he give you that chance, he's saying, acknowledge me. Acknowledge me and I will give you perfect peace. You don't have to toss and turn and toil in the midnight hour because you feel like you're hungry. And you got these children and you didn't do what you were supposed to do with the money. You went and got your hair did or your nails did or you went and bought you um, another car. Or you snuck around on your wife or you snuck around on your partner or you snuck around on whoever, your mom or dad or aunt or uncle, you know, and you didn't do what was right. God said, I will give you perfect peace in that situation, but I need you to trust me and acknowledge me. And more importantly, I need you to be open and honest with that person. You need to go back. You need to repent and you need to let them know what happened. You need to lift off that burden of bondage on your life because you're walking around, you know, with a spirit of bondage on you because you didn't do what was right during your challenging time. But God said, I can help you. Learning how to adjust during challenging times. Some of us gotten ourselves in those situations and we know we made bad choices, but God said, it's okay because I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will keep your mind in perfect peace if you trust me. I will give you peaceful night's rest if you trust me. There is nothing too hard for God. No weapon formed against you shall prosper if you trust me. Lean not to your own understanding. If you trust me, I will help you out of that situation. And when this time when I deliver you out of it, you're going to know that I am God because you've acknowledged me and you don't, you won't be going back through that challenging time. You pass that test, you know, acknowledge God, allow him to lead and guide you through challenging times in your life. Allow him to help adjust those aches and pains and life challenges where you don't understand where you just can't see no way out. I encourage you to acknowledge God when you're adjusting to life challenges. You can't make it without him. Isaiah chapter 26, verse three says, that will keep your mind in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because he trusted in thee. God bless you. Continue to log in to www.houseofprayerministry.net feel like donating, God placed it in your heart to donate, hit that donation tab. God bless you and God keep you.